would like to tell you about a cholesterol particle called lipoprotein little a. My name is Borgen Nordskart. I'm a clinical professor at University of Copenhagen, Copenhagen University Hospital in Denmark. I worked scientifically and also clinically with lipoprotein little a for many years. Lipoprotein little a consists of a LDL particle, uh, the normal particle we know from LDL cholesterol. But then on top of that, it has an extra apolipoprotein on it. It's called apolipoprotein little a. This is a very peculiar lipoprotein. It's 80 to 90% genetically determined. And it was developed twice in evolution. So the European hedgehog has one version. And monkeys, apes, and humans have another version. We don't really know what it's good for, but it must be good for something. Otherwise, it would not have developed twice in evolution. However, as we live long time these days, fortunately, many people, when they get older, get problems with having high lipoprotein little a. They get corneal heart disease, that is myocardial infarction, or angina pectoris, stroke, aortic valve stenosis, uh, and some other ones. And even if you're very high levels, you can die early on. So lipoprotein little a is a genetic risk factor that if you have it together with other risk factors, for example, together with familial hypercholesterolemia, then your risk of cardiovascular disease is really high. What you want to do if LP little is high is to do your best uh, to try to eliminate all other risk factors, meaning you should not smoke, you should try to be lean, not overweight or obese, you should uh, try to exercise, please eat as healthy as at all possible. And if you have high LDL cholesterol, get it treated with statins, acetamide, or even some other drugs. So it's an lipoprotein. We don't know exactly how to treat it yet. There's trials going on. But we know if you have it, you have very high risk of early cardiovascular disease and early death. So please go to your doctor and tell other people about it. The doctor should measure your lipoprotein little and help you, advise you that if it is high, what can you do to live a long, healthy life without cardiovascular disease? Thank you so much for listening in on this.